out for this brother. Can they do that? It's crazy, man. You go there? Are you going? Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? This your boy, Mr. J, aka Kwame, your boy, your bong boy, a dirt con lakery, your boy, Bazinga. What's happening, you dick guy? I just want to say thank you for tuning in, motherland. Hey, welcome back to the platform, YouTube. Hey, man, we're going to talk about another track today from a dope artist from Nigeria. Go spot the name Flavor. Flavor featuring Larry Gaga. Both of them are dope. And I know one is already a multi-millionaire, you smell me? The title of this one is Bestie, you dig? It's off the Flavor of Africa album, The Project. But before we get started, please, if you're not done yet, post for a minute, hit that subscribe button, smash that like and the notification. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. Please let that commercial play. If they, we're about to get to 22K, and I know that we can do that. And I mean, five days more. I want to see how fast we can make it. But it's so good. I love you. Let's talk about Bestie. Go. Go. I like the build up, you dig? Anything flavor, you know there's always gonna be some culture sunk in it. You feel me? Let's go. My bestie, my bestie. Book one number Lucy Lee. Hey! My bestie, my bestie. Book one number in a member for my brother. Ask yourself, can your bestie die for you? Ask yourself if your bestie, your best friend, your best buddy, your best partner can they die for you? You're in a circle. Can you put them in? Can you walk the world when she goes sour? Can they, man, can they be dead for you? You gotta ask yourself, man. Flavor has always been, he's always been epic, you feel me? Let me back it up, let's go. Brother, ask yourself, can your bestie die for you? Can you? Sister, ask yourself, can your bestie be happy? He's talking about bestie as in your, your, your partner, your lover. Can they die for you? Can they hold your back? Can they have your back through the ups and downs? Some can, some cannot. That's just the facts. If they, hey, my evil folks, come through, man. Come through. Come through. If they, kia kwa nu. He does. Success brings enemies. This is facts. When you become successful, you develop a whole lot of enemies. And I'm talking like, it's like that money brings that energy. You do, but that's life. That's like, that's the oldest secret on the books. The oldest secret in the books, man. I mean, hey, look, Jesus Christ was born. Nobody gave a damn with Pilate trying to kill him. And then he grew up. People, Jesus had enemies. So what more of you? If you're not humble, God can humble you. Be humble. They humble yourself. Humility. Bury your egos. They do not be selfish. You smell me because if you don't, some shit's gonna humble your ass. You feel me? My guy, my guy. Okay. Brother, ask yourself. My girl, my girl, I'm your number one fan. You dig? And you know, fans, we always do giveaways. When you have a fan base, you got to give back. You dig? You appreciate. But ask yourself, brother, can that fan die for you? Can they have your back? 
You dig to say they are your fan. Can they definitely say no? I'ma go the extra mile for this brother. Can they do that? It's crazy, man. You go there? Are you gonna be there when I'm arrested and locked up on that false allegation? See, that's when you know who's who. That's when you know who's in your circle of influence. That's when you know who's a friend. You dig? Sometimes I do that. I just call up a buddy like, oh man, I need, I need like $500. I mean, I was shocked out. The least of my buddies, this nigga gave me 430. And all those I thought were my friend, man, I was in high school back in the day. Ain't nobody came to. Till today, I'm still best friend with that homie. You dig? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You gotta, you gotta be careful who you call your best friend. You gotta know him. Tell him. This man's backup singer is like, woo, you. To do backup singing for this brother, you got man, it's, it's crazy. Life, man, life is like a, a split second. You can lose your life. Everybody's going to die. So why do people not think that being humble is necessary? But you got to speak the truth to why you're being humble. you you gotta understand that i do understand that shit and that's why i give re literally less stress to anything that anybody throws at me you dig as long as i'm telling you the truth about anything whatever you throw at mr j i already understand the principles you dig not everybody's gonna like you shit you dig it is what it is i got people i don't like their shit it's normal Dig, and I'm humble about that. You feel me? But hey, man, this is this is this is life teachings. Let me back it up a little bit. One name more, Lady Gaga, my brother. Now, who no person to kill him? Man's man's kills man's man. Y'all heard of that? Bro, any problem that you got, false accusation, anything, look at your inner circle. Trust me. Trust me, man. Look at your inner circle. If you're getting the kind of problems that you don't even understand where they pop from, Take a close zoom in in your inner circle. You dig? God wears the crown. Yes, God, you gotta understand that everything will boil onto the man upstairs. Don't let any other person try to act like they are your God. Don't. Be humble or else God is going to humble you. You feel me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Flavor Man featuring Larry Gaga, bestie. The takeout from this 
The take home message is this. Be humble. Respect people. You feel me? Understand that only those who know you going to hurt you. People going to envy you. You dig? Speak the truth at all times. Hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and the notification. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. And shout out to my man, Fred. I mean, he been on my case, bro. I told you it was going to come. Keep your head up. Peace out.